We're talking about the bone marrow microenvironment, also known as what the hematopoietic inductive environment. Okay, so now coming here, trying to actually understand this lecture from the heading of this lecture. You guys already know what my, uh, bone marrow is. You know what microenvironment is. Microenvironment is like your immediate environment that is actually supporting you. Do you understand? Then hematopoietic, you guys already know what hematopoietic is. That's the stem cells that will actually go into erythropoiesis, leukopoiesis, or thrombopoiesis. The inductive is like, what is making it to happen? What is supporting it? Okay? So, now, trying to actually fuse this literal uh, understanding into uh, what we're trying to discuss about. Uh, if you if you say bone marrow microenvironment or hematopoietic inductive environment, it's more like are you trying to look at like okay what what is this environment in the bone marrow that is trying to actually support hematopoiesis? It's trying to support blood cell formation, okay? And this is what a bone marrow microenvironment looks like. Oxygen. We have cell, cell, um, hematopoietic cells that are already developing. We have the new hematopoietic cells that are coming up. We have the signals. We have the inhibitory uh, signals. We have the cytokines. We have the stimulatory signals. And the whole microenvironment of a bone marrow is so amazing. Okay? So we just here to actually talk about the functions of this microenvironment. We'll be, we'll be doing subsequent lectures to actually talk about the composition of the microenvironment of a bone marrow okay so let's just go ahead and talk about the functions now is that a hematopoietic inductive environment also known as heme it refers to the specialized tissue niche that supports the development and maintenance of what hematopoietic stem cells and their progeny do you know what progeny is progeny is like those cells that are formed from the hematopoietic stem cells, all right? So at least all of you guys know the process of hematopoiesis, how it goes through, and all those stem cells are uh, getting to divide into the different cells that we have. So the hematopoietic inductive uh, microenvironment provides a unique combination of cellular and molecular signals that regulate how hematopoietic cells are renewed as self-renewal, how they are differentiated, and how they survive so this microenvironment is basically like what the process of hematopoiesis what supports okay the main pillar of hematopoiesis because if the microenvironment is not there then other things are needed uh, for this hematopoietic stem cell renewal differentiation and survival will not be there okay so looking at this looking at this these are the various um, these are the various stimulatory factors, some are inhibitory factors. Don't worry, when we're talking about the composition of the um, um, hematopoietic inductive microenvironment, you guys should get to know about all those things. All right. So now for hematopoiesis to occur, it must be supported by a microenvironment that is able to support hematopoietic stem cell renewal, self -re um, stem cell survivor, self-renewal, proliferation, differentiation and maturation of stem cells along committed lineages, okay? So the hematopoietic inductive microenvironment, also known as well, bone marrow microenvironment, is a specialized niche within the bone marrow that supports and regulates this process of our hematopoiesis, okay? So now another picture showing you guys uh, how a microenvironment of bone marrow looks like, okay? The bone marrow forms a suitable environment due to its stroma cells and microvascular network. Okay, so the stroma cells microvascular network actually comes in to actually form this bone marrow microenvironment. So the interaction between the hematopoietic stem cells and this microenvironment of the bone marrow actually ensures effective hemopoiesis or hematopoiesis. Okay, so now for hematopoiesis to take place microenvironment must be there and must be functioning optimally okay so this is just an overview of basically the functions of this bone marrow microenvironment also known as what the hrm that's the hematopoietic 
inductive microenvironment. Right? See you guys pretty soon.